at, so we're happy to be out here. We've uh, been sent out west before, my, at least personally myself with Buffalo. And it's uh, been good for us. We're happy to be in the tournament. I mean, you know, to get a four seed, it's the first time in school history we've been a four seed or higher in back to back tournaments. So, you know, we, we, we felt like maybe we could have been a little bit better, but, you know, we, uh, we had some injuries. We didn't close the season well with our injuries, but we're excited to be in a tournament. We, uh, we've got to obviously play well. Charleston's good. You know, when I started watching them, once we got to draw Sunday night, they're, they're real similar to us. You know, Coach Kelsey does a great job. They're in back-to-back -back tournaments, so this isn't like new to them. They're used to being in the tournament with all the surrounding stuff that goes with it. Nah, they're not going to be intimidated by us. And offensively, I mean, they're one of the better teams in the country. So they play fast. They shoot a lot of threes. They run a lot of five-out stuff. Got very talented players, so we're going to be ready to go. And But it is good. We'll finally be healthy with both Ryland and uh, Trelly both able to play, which it's been a little while since we've had both those guys fully capable without a minute's restriction. So we, we really tried to get healthy over this last, you know, we've only played the one game in the last 12 days. Our, our biggest goal is just trying to get healthy. And I feel like we're as close to healthy as we've been in a while. Questions for coach. Yeah, Nick Kelly, Tuscaloosa News. Uh, two, if I can, Nate. Uh, Nick Pringle, is he going to be available to play tomorrow? And Davin Cosby had a boot on his foot. Is he doing okay? Yeah, so D Davin broke his foot in practice earlier this week. So he, he's out. So we're not 100% fully healthy. That's the one injury, and it was unfortunate. I mean, he, I think he stepped on somebody's foot. He continued to practice. But then when we got an x-ray after practice, it has got a, a break in one of the bones. So he... He's out, and, and Nick, Nick's available to play tomorrow. Nick's with the team. He was dealing with a personal issue. He's, he's here with us now and should be good to go tomorrow. More questions? More questions for Coach? Blake Byler, BamaCentral.com. Coach, how, um, how have you looked at how Aaron Estrada played against Charleston in his time at Hofstra? Has that gone into any of your preparation for this game? You know what? He played pretty well. I think he had 25 points in the first half last year against them. So obviously he's playing in a different system now with different teammates, and Charleston's a lot different. But it was still Charleston, and it's still – thank you. And it's still uh, – Aaron, so I hope he's got some confidence because when he's playing with a, a lot of confidence, he's one of the best guards in the country. And I, uh, you know, I'd love for him to come into this game playing with all kinds of confidence. So, I mean, it's hard to go look at. It's just all different. He's got all different teammates, different system, but they've got some some of the same players back, and he, he was pretty good against them last year. Yeah, he was very good actually. Julian Mitchell, WVTM, right here, 13 in Birmingham. Um, Coach, I remember after the SEC tournament said uh, that the guys had to make a decision uh, coming into this one uh, about how they wanted to play and how they, they wanted to go. What have you seen uh, over these last few days to show that they have made that decision and what's been your message to them coming into this game? Yeah, we, we uh, the last two days we haven't really done a, a ton of live stuff in practice, trying to stay as healthy as we can. But I thought Monday and Tuesday they got after it, you know, to the point you don't play defense like your season's going to be over so a lot of the defensive issues we've had I feel have come down to just decisions you got to make how hard do you want to play how much do you want to be locked in and if you can't get locked in when your season's on the line I'm not sure what will get you locked in so I felt like Monday and Tuesday's practices were pretty good we got back to just really some of it was just doing some defensive fundamentals and going over some actions that, you know, Charleston runs all kinds of sets. I mean, they're after tie, they're really good, but they've got some definite actions that you have to know how to guard. And I, we started putting that in Monday. Tuesday, I thought our guys were pretty locked in. So we'll, uh, we'll see where we're at when we come out tomorrow. But I certainly hope we're playing with max effort and really locked in to try and get stops on the defensive end, regardless of what happens on the offensive end.
Yeah, one other defense question, Nate. As, as far as messaging, I mean, this is your fifth season here. How has the messaging evolved in terms of how you approach defense when you talk to guys about it? And um, where, do, where do you feel like it hasn't been received as much this year? Yeah, I mean, we. I felt like I gave them a similar messaging to what we gave last year. You know, last year the messaging was, you know, we were third in the country in defense, won the SEC regular season and tournament, and made a Sweet 16 run. The following year we were 92nd. We were, I believe, a sixth seed in the SEC tournament. Uh, I got bounced in the first round of the SEC tournament and the NCAA tournament. So we, we've got a guard. And that, that year we were third in the country again and, and won the SEC, won the tournament, and proceeded to make a sweet 16 run. We were the number one overall seed. So my point this year was, like, we, we got to get back. You know, our goal is to try to be top five defense in the country. Well, we're obviously not that. now. I do think it's a little bit different. You know, we, we had Herb Jones when we were third in the country. That That's huge help. I mean, he's one of the best defenders in the world right now. He's guarding all the best players in the NBA when the Pelicans play. We had Betty Ako with, you know, some real rim protection last year. You know, we don't have Herb or, or Charles, so it's a little bit harder to be third in the country in defense. But, you know, and, and we had the number one offense for a lot, a lot of the year, and now we – you know, we were a few possessions away from winning the SEC. If we beat Tennessee at our place, and that was an even game up till about the last couple minutes of the game when they kind of pulled away late. But, you know, if we'd beat Tennessee, we'd have won the SEC. So we were a lot closer to being a, a championship level team this year than we were two years ago. And I think, you know, our, cause our offense was a lot better. We moved the ball better, I think. And I think we've got guys that are capable of being good defenders that have shown it at times. They just got to they got to choose to guard. I mean, we've looked at some teams that have made runs in the tournament when maybe they didn't close the season great. And, you know, we, we've tried to sell them on that. And, you know, if when we when we guard, we can compete with some of the best teams in the country. I mean, Arizona, Purdue, Creighton, you look at some of these teams with their seeds that they've – got and what they're doing. I mean, we, we had leads on all of them in the second half, nine-point lead, six-point lead, whatever, like at least like a 60% chance or higher of winning the game in the second half. So we, we've competed with all these better teams in the country. And we also – we don't have any bad losses on the year really either. Like two years ago we had some – like where we just didn't show up at all losses. We haven't had that. So while our defense isn't what I would have liked for it to be or what our program – it's kind of set the standard to be. I think we're capable of beating anyone in the country. And, you know, we, we're going to have to come out and guard this year or this, this week.